Well, welcome back. Great to see you, Michael Shamus, Peter Basaltis and Andrew Danica. Webster. Plenty to discuss this week. Um, we'll start off some big comments. Now, these are really, really big comments from uh, Rod Churchill, son of Clive Churchill, of course, a rugby league immortal, a South Sydney great. He's come out and said some pretty damning things about Latrell Mitchell. He's called him a cancer on the club. He's called him overrated, a myth. He said some weeks he's been an embarrassment to the number one jersey. Webby's he out of line saying this about Latrell? I think the comments are disgraceful. I really do. Look, you know, I'm, an, I'm a columnist, so I can't uh, be critical of someone having an opinion, but that's such a dog shot. I think it goes so far to call someone an embarrassment to the number one jumper. Um, you know, I think... A few people in rugby league have dined out on their surname more than Rod Churchill over the years, and I just think, given what the club's gone through, and if you really supported the club like you would think he does, I think um, you don't make those comments at all. I'm really interested in the text message that was sent to Nick Pappas and how that got into the public domain. Now, Nick Pappas, the chairman of South, is a man of honour. He's also a lawyer. So I can't see Nick um, getting that to go around the universe like it has. So all I can assume is that it's grandstanding from Rod Churchill. And if I'm the NRL, that's the guy that presents the Clive Churchill medal on grand final day. In light of what he's said and how he's framed it, I I'm, I'm don't want him on the stage on grand final day. Imagine South Sydney going to run and make a grand final and, and he's on stage presenting the medal. I but even, even, even if it's not this year, which is unlikely, but in the like, you can't discount Luttrell leading them to a premiership at some, at some stage. Point. Even though Rod doesn't think he will, he, he will. But I, you know, I just think it's really embarrassing for Rod Churchill more than anyone. Yeah, look, and for someone who's not actually involved, I know his connection with the club is great and his father, obviously, Clive Churchill, a legend of the game, but to actually not have an insight into what's going on there and to, to go as hard as he did with these comments, I, I think is very unfair. A lot of the criticism of Latrell hasn't been personal and it's been founded based on opinion from people inside that organisation, people like Sam Burgess and John Morris and people, other people who are seeing what's going on in there, but to go to the level that he has to be as personal as he has. Look, Latrell, Latrell Mitchell isn't deliberately trying to undermine South Sydney. There are things in his game that there are people in that organisation who feel he can do better at. Mm. But to go to the level that Rod Churchill has just gone to is just... And the timing as well. Uncalled for. The timing, Michael. I mean, they've got, a, they've got a big game. It's a finals game, isn't it? A week early next mm. week against their, their bitter rivals, the Roosters. You don't want to have, if you're South Sydney... Well, it's not really infighting because Rod's not part of the, the inner sanctum of the club, but they need to be all together at the moment. And the way that things have been going the last few days, it actually reminds me of it, what Brisbane were going through a, a couple of seasons ago where there are a lot of voices from the outside coming in and, and it took Brisbane a long time to recover from that. And so South have just got to... They've got to all be together as one, especially with that game they got on Friday night against the Roosters. I mean, it, there's... Criticism's criticism. That's the game we're in. Mm. Um, that, that's professional sport, but... That's just nasty. You know, it, I just feel that was personal. that was really, really, yeah. really personal. And if I'm Latrell, I'm getting I'd be looking getting my lawyers to look at all of it mm. because it's it's that hot. So with everything that's happening at South Sydney at the moment, who's to blame for this mess? Look, I don't know if there's any, anyone to blame for it. Like the reality Chambers, is, because Chambers blew it apart on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> the reality is, this has been bubbling away in the background for a while now, and it's all come to a head as a result of the stories that were written last or earlier in the week. It could be a good thing for South Sydney. It could be a good thing. If, if, if this has the response that they... The desired response that the players actually come together and pull together and Latrell Mitchell looks at all the noise and says, you know what, it's time I up, name up, it could be a good thing. He may, not, he may not get a chance to show up, though. He may not be able to play another game this season if they lose to the Roosters on Friday night. But uh, the reality is I, I don't see an issue with what had transpired internally. Sam Burgess going to the club and saying... There are things in this team, the, the direction that we're going in is, isn't going to lead us towards a premiership. Mm. We need to do things differently. He's entitled to that opinion. Mm. The fact that it then got outside of those four walls to people in the media is the concern to the club. If the stories weren't written, there'd be no issue and Sam Burgess would still be there. Well, look, I, I actually indirectly blame Russell Crowe. And, I'm, I'm, and I have great respect for Russell and what he's done for the club. But he should have known last August when he appointed uh, or insisted that Sam goes on to Jason Demetrio's coaching staff, that that was going to be an issue. Because Sam's a big, strong-willed character, a club legend, and he's got a second-year coach. Of course, there's going to be some weird dynamic there. And, and it's an assistant coach that's been appointed by the owner. 
Now, do you tell me a coach where that would happen in the past? But wouldn't you want the like? Wouldn't you want the best in your coaching staff? Yeah, of course, and of course, the you, of course that you would. Sam but has. he's a big personality. I, of course, but he's a big personality. Correct. So, what, so has that's Sam always going to be. But has Sam no, 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 not at all. But there were people at the club who told Russell at the time, "This is going to be. This is going to have drama written all over it," and it did. But isn't that up to the other powers that be to manage relationships? You want to have you want to have the best at the club. And, shouldn't, a and co shouldn't a coach be able to appoint his assistant coaches? I would have thought think so. so. But this is and this they should also be able to to get rid of them. They still had to go to the board mm. and Russell to get the okay for Sam to leave early. I, 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 I just don't think that's a healthy dynamic. If you're the the head coach, you ha should have a say in who your coaching staff. All is. the talk around Sam Burgess walking out in the club and who's leaking to who. It's actually taken away from the actual point of the issue, which is. Is Latrell getting away with too much? I don't know. Do you, do you, from what you've heard, guys, do you think that Latrell Mitchell isn't held to the same account? Because Sam Burgess you knows... You broke it, buddy. No, you but, you, you wrote story. it. You yeah, wrote it. I'm telling you. So, so what we, do you we, think? The whole issue has been sugarcoated around the whole exit of Sam Burgess, right? We actually haven't spoken about Latrell Mitchell's influence on that football team. Oh, I, whether think we or not. Have, I think there's been a lot of talk about Latrell... Mate, Latrell, so, so do you hold him to Latrell, account? Well, uh, it, uh, it's not my, my job to hold him to account. It's up to the coaches to hold him to account. Well, but this I think, is now Jason I think there is chose. definitely a weird... Yeah. There is definitely a dynamic there within that team that needs addressing from Jason Demetrio, for yeah. sure. Yeah, and, and it's his time to shine now, the coach. Mm. Jason Demetrio, this is his time. Get in there, put in a big performance on Friday night against the, against the Roosters. He, he's got to be the main man, the biggest voice, the loudest voice in the room. He's the head coach. And um, I'm confident he can do that mm. job. But the oh. proof's in the pudding. Like, look... They haven't been playing well and neither is Luttrell, so there's obviously something that's not right there. Yeah, we'll have to see on Friday night what happens. It'll, um, yeah, it'll go to show what's um, happening on and off the field. Mm. Big game for them. Uh, coming up, also a big game, Sunday footy.